Well, I'm members Eddie Sikora, head golf professional here to announce a new initiative that's come down from the grounds committee called R3. Those three R's are replace, repair, and rake. Uh, we ask that the entire membership buy into this program to ensure quality playing conditions on the golf course day in, day out for our memberships. Coming up, we have three videos from our assistant golf professionals, Rodney, Zach, and Brett, on how to properly repair, replace, and rake. If you have any questions after watching these videos, please contact the golf shop with any questions. Hi, my name is Rodney Blair. I'm the golf, one of the golf professionals at the Park Country Club, and we're going to show you how to correctly replace a divot that has been taken from the ground. So there's the divot. going to take it and we're going to try and put it back in the same spot that it came from. Push it down and then step on it with your foot. Now it's almost disappeared, okay? So that's with a big divot. This one's going to be one that's going to be really skinny and not much there. Come and take a look at the divot. So that's a really skinny divot that exploded all over the place. Um, Scott, our superintendent, has a gentleman that comes and fixes those and fills those in for, um, for you later. So you don't have to replace that one. Okay? Thanks for watching and uh, replace your divots when you can. This is our number one. Thank you. Hi, this is Brett Emmerich, assistant professional here at the Park Country Club. Today we're going to go over how to repair a ball mark. First thing, select what you're going to use to repair the ball mark. You can use either a T or for this demonstration, I'm going to use a repair tool. Important thing you want to remember is you want to push, don't pry. So I'm going to start at the back of the ball mark here. I'm always going to push towards the middle. I'm going to work my way around the entire ball mark. Once I'm done, I'm going to take my putter. I'm going to tap it down so that the surface is level with the rest of the green and you're all set. This has been our number two repair. Hi, my name is Zach Farkas, Assistant Golf Professional here at Park Country Club. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you about the third R of the R3 initiative, rake. The th there is three steps to rake in a bunker. The first step is gonna be entering the bunker from the low side. The second step is gonna to be to rake yourself out of the bunker. After you hit the shot, of course. Notice as I'm pushing the sand as I retrace my steps the way I came in. Lastly, our third step is going to be leaving the rake inside the bunker. And just like that, you've learned about the third R of the R3 initiative, rake. Thank you to the entire membership for following these R3 initiatives. We appreciate your help.